Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this reading. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. So in the earlier reading today we got the three card spread coming out and what I'm being guided to do right now is to bring in a three card spread around the now and what we are learning and the outcome. So I'm going to do where we are right now on this journey, what we are learning on this journey or overcoming or dealing with and the outcome. And I'm going to use two decks of cards to bring in this reason. I'm going to bring in the Archangel Michael deck. So Michael can bring the answers in. And I'm going to bring in this deck to see what the energy is. So thank you, angels. So first of all, what's the energy of this moment? Where are we now as twin flames? What's the energy collectively now as twin flames? What do we need to know? So I'm waiting for a very clear card to come out. There it is. What's the energy around the lesson we are learning as twin flames? That's the one. And the outcome. The outcome, please, angels. Thank you. And all these cards are upside down, which may mean something. I'm going to see what they are. So sometimes the way we look at it is a little bit upside down. All we have to do is alter our perception to see things in a higher way. So we're going to use the Archangel Michael cards for the now. What does Michael want to say about where we are right now as twin flames? Where are we right now? What does Michael want to say? What does he want to say? Okay, I'm waiting for a clear card. There it is, it jumped out. What is the energy around what we're learning? Thank you, angels. And the outcome, please, Archangel Michael. What do we need to be aware of? Jumping straight out. So let's see where we are then. So the energy around the now then, we've got prayer. Wow, now this is really powerful because there's power in prayer. So you're being given the guidance today that no matter what's going on in your physical reality, you can change it with the power of prayer. When life gives you lemons, you can make lemonade. So in other words, it doesn't matter how bad things seem, you have the power now to turn things around by calling on the angels. And the message from Archangel Michael is... The person you're asking about is trustworthy. So I feel this is a sign that you can trust your twin. You are worthy of this love. And to be worthy of this love, you have to trust them. You know, it's kind of a lesson that comes. So you may be thinking, I can't trust them right now. Or maybe you're thinking you don't feel worthy of this or you're learning self-worth issues. And the angels are going to help you to have faith. Have faith so you can open your heart wider within this relationship and see it in a higher way. And when you use prayer, you become grateful for the protection provided by heaven and you are ensured that people around you are healthy relationships and trustworthy. So you're being reminded that if you're not together right now, there's a reason because you're being protected because your twin may not be in the right energy for you in this moment. So we can pray, thank you God for helping me and for giving me faith so I can open my heart wider within my relationship. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring there are only trustworthy people are in my life. And you can trust your twin. You can trust them to contact you to do the right thing and most importantly to find their own way. And you are worthy of great things. You are worthy of the power of prayer. So the real message is, in the now, you can pray. You know, if you think, oh, it's really bad and it can't get any worse and, and there's no hope and I don't know what to do, you can pray. When we pray, we ask. We ask for assistance. We allow heaven in. So what we may be dealing with right now, look at this trickery. Trickery. Now, the first thing I'm seeing there is the squirrel. And the squirrel is the gatherer. The squirrel gathers information. So if you feel like your masculine is tricking you in any way, or this journey is a trick, or if you're in doubt, because I'm really seeing the energy of trickery as doubt. We get tricked by the ego. The ego tells us all kinds of crazy stories that aren't true. Like what if they never leave? What if they don't love us? What if it's all a lie? All these things. And it can trick us. So what do we do in that moment? We gather information. When we doubt, we have the opportunity to find our faith. So the squirrel is saying, I'm going to gather all the things I need to understand and face my dragons. But the dragon is actually helping because the dragon is helping you to navigate around your struggle. 
And Archangel Michael is saying all you need to do to move this journey forward and to overcome the ego or any trickery is to go forward fearlessly. Go forward fearlessly. Connect with the love in your heart. Archangel Michael, thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hands, giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and activities and actions in the direction of love and my true life purpose. So if you feel you've been tricked or you're going through the ego, focus on service, focus on moving forward, not back, focus on the things you can understand in a higher way. And the outcome then, oh, look at this renewal, renewal coming in for the connection and renewal coming in for the family. And this is really powerful. A new time, a new cycle, new things ahead. This is the energy of June where we are. And look at this, Archangel Michael saying, take your time making this decision. Now, this really resonates with the masculine reading today because the masculines want to make this decision. And what they really show me is this here in the throat chakra. So throat chakra activation and healing. So you have to be patient. There's power in patience. Patience isn't about waiting around. It's about loving life, giving back to the self, knowing who you are. Archangel Michael, please help me to stay strong and relaxed as I approach this situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. So this situation will naturally unfold when you allow it to. And if you trust the journey and overcome the doubt and the fear and the trickery, you're going to be renewed in your love and you're going to be renewed in your life and you're going to feel better and magic is going to flow in. So yes, the masculines may be taking their time making a decision, but it's because of the renewal, doing it the right way. They want to go forward fearlessly. They don't want to trick you anymore. They want to, you know, move forward to show you that you can trust them because that's what they pray about and ask about. And when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And that's what you need to know. So you can trust them. Your journey is about to turn into a wonderful renewed energy from the energy of where you may feel that things are bad into where things are good. You're going to turn things around so the way you see the journey changes to make your life heaven instead of hell. And that's what I'm being shown it. You know, what I'm being shown is the beautiful garden, not the, you know, the struggle. And I feel that this, what they're also showing me as well is, if anyone lives in a built-up city, they're showing me somewhere like New York or London or you know, somewhere else, somewhere where there's lots of buildings. That could also be Tokyo or places like that. And your twin or, you, you know, it's if they live there or you live there and you live where there's flowers and farmland and, you know, trees and forest. If you live somewhere and they live somewhere, you're going to be together. You have to make the best of what you've got now. And you're both dreaming about better times. So I feel there's going to be lots of changes to bring you together. And you may also have to compromise to work out where you're going to live and what you're going to do. But definitely this is about movement. And I feel that this is resonating with someone watching who may be living in a built up area. And maybe you're really craving or wanting to live out in the open. To change your life, even to go off the grid. And live more in nature and do more things that are more natural. And this is your sign that this is ahead. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.